far from over. Barkley gets them both. 98, 91, under two minutes to play. Great bump by Drexler on Carl Malone. Brian Russell for three. Got it! Brian Russell with 15, 98, 94 Rockets. Barkley in the post. Now the quicker you move the ball, the more difficult it is for the defense to see how quickly Barkley moves against Carl Malone. Ellie for three. And rebounded by Malone. They've gone away from Akeem, they've gone away from Drexler, and they put Eddie Johnson on the bench. Stockton into the lane, got it! And the Houston lead is down to two with a minute 20 to play. Drexler lost it, coming across the lane, Stockton. Three on two, keeps it. Tie game. Sixty-three seconds remaining. Utah and Houston tied at 98. Each team with a full timeout and a 20-second timeout remaining. Utah has scored 12 of the last 14 points to pull even. The crowd deflated, stunned, and normally they're up during the break. Totally quiet. And Carl Malone talking to Charles Barkley. Elijah Wan back outside. So Dale three. In and out. Out of bounds to Houston. Great diving tip there by Clyde Drexler. Sedale cannot get the jumper to go down. 49 seconds to play in a new 24. Olajuwon blocked by Ostertag, gets his own rebound, outside again. Ellie along the baseline, tried to give it away. Barkley comes up with it, again, and he'll go to the line. Great work on the offensive glass by Charles Barkley. Uh, the Rockets bailed out here. Ellie almost threw this one away, but Barkley dug it out. He got lower than anybody else. Now he's got another chance at the line. That's six personals on Greg Ostertag. Ostertag has been huge in plugging up the middle against Elijah Wan. Stockton hanging at the call. Barkley a chance from the line. Let's pay tribute to that man. 16 points, 14 rebounds for Greg Ostertag tonight. turn to try to stop Stockton. Stockton on the move in the lane. Tie game. And timeout for the Rockets. 22 for John Stockton. Slow start tonight and a big second half. 12 in the quarter and we've been here before in game four. Watch Stockton lean in with body control and get the floater. And now it is win or tie time for the Houston Rockets. But Sloan had no hesitation in calling Stockton's number. Look at the control. He was on his way down. He's still right handed. But right now the Rockets just play for one. 2.8 seconds is a ton of time. So they have at least time to make two passes and get a shot. The Rockets have no fouls to give. And Stockton has been the man here in the fourth quarter. For tonight, Malone has taken the majority of the shots as usual. He leads the Jazz in scoring with 24. Stockton right behind him. Hornacek has had a good night shooting the basketball. It may be MVP time here for the Utah Jazz. If anybody other than Stockton or Malone take this jumper, There'll be questions to ask. 
for eternity. Well, I don't know. Hornacek has been good in the game. So has Russell. Russell with two three-pointers. What they want is a good look. They want a chance to give themselves an opportunity to go to the finals, not go to overtime. Barkley in the jazz huddle. Charles Barkley looking over Antoine Carr's shoulder and came away smiling. And again, problem here is you don't want to foul the shooter. Who's going to guard Carl Malone? Barkley. They got a team on Antoine Carr. Russell will inbound at half court. Uh -oh. Stockton, open three. Good! John Stockton sends the Utah Jazz to the NBA Finals. John Stockton finishes with 25 points. The last three at the buzzer. What a way to answer Eddie Johnson's winning three-pointer in game four. And what a great moment for the Utah franchise. Their proudest moment ever. Breakdown defensively. Nobody stays with Stockton. Barkley has to come out. We have never seen this kind of emotion from Stockton <laughs> and Malone. And finally, their day has come, but the catch was too easy. And Stockton, who had been the hot hand in the quarter, finishes up the game, 15 in the quarter with that three. 25 points, 13 assists. The Utah Jazz says, yes, we are moving on with a four games to two victory over the Houston Rockets. Rudy Tomjanovich says, there goes the season. Let's go to Jim Gray. Jim. All right, thank you very much, Greg. John Stockton, you guys, 15 points for you in the quarter. Tell us about that last shot that's sending you to the finals. Who knows? I'm just glad it went in. Uh, it's very exciting. You had that big run there at the end of the quarter. I believe it was 15 to 4. Did you guys at any point over there think, hey, we're headed toward game seven? Uh, not for sure. We, we, uh, we knew we weren't out of it, and we knew our guys wouldn't give up. Nobody gave up, and, and uh, all we had to do was get back in that ball game. They might tighten up a little bit, but I just feel so happy we got that done. John, tell us. It's been a lifetime dream for you to get to the finals. Tell us about making this accomplishment now. Absolutely. None to say. Can you beat Chicago? Uh, we'll find out. Nobody thought that we could beat Houston. Carl, a lifetime dream to get to the finals. You said you might cry if you made it. Are you almost there in tears? Yeah, it was, it was unbelievable. You know, what we've been through as a team, Everybody stuck together and believed in each other. And it's just awesome. It's totally awesome. How about that shot by John? Was that was, was diagram? When he left his hand, it looked like it was good when it left. So I didn't know how to react because it looked good when it left. But yeah, I'm so I'm so proud of the guys. I really am. Everybody just hung in there. We got down. And we said we wanted to win it here. And they make it that much sweeter to win here because they've knocked us out a couple of times. Got this awesome feeling. Carl, oh, congratulations. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Thank you very much. Coach, was that just how you diagrammed it there? Well, John made the shot. Everything looks good whenever they make the shot. It doesn't make any difference what you run. All right, Jim Gray.